So here's the question. Are carbohydrates essential? Can you live without carbohydrates? You know, in most nutrition circles, and I know, you know, when I was going through school and I was getting my degrees, you know, I learned that, that carbohydrates were absolutely essential, that you had to have them in order to produce cellular energy. However, scientific research has shown that carbohydrates themselves, dietary carbohydrates, are not essential for you to be able to live. Now, we have things like essential fatty acids, essential amino acids, which are part of a protein. There's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. Now, that's not to say that carbohydrates can't be beneficial for your body, and it's also not to say that you don't need some level of blood glucose, which is basically a measurement of sugar, right, which is a carbohydrate in your bloodstream. Because you do, you do need a certain amount of blood glucose or you're gonna die. And so you absolutely need blood glucose, but do you need dietary carbohydrates? Well, like I mentioned, there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. We do have essential fats. Omega-3 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids are absolutely essential. That means our body can't produce them on its own. We also have something called essential amino acids eight different essential amino acids. That means our body can't produce those on its own. We actually have to have those from our diet in order to run all the metabolic machinery that operates our body. However, when it comes to carbohydrates, there's no actual essential carbohydrate. Now, consuming some carbohydrates, for some people they feel a lot better than others, right? And so carbohydrates can be a very healthy part of a diet, in fact, you know, all of us are consuming some level of carbs, some people more than others, and I'm gonna go through some carbohydrate sources that I think are better, but the question I wanted to address first off was carbohydrates are not actually essential, that you can actually run all the metabolic needs of your body off of a diet that is has enough omega-3, omega-6 fats, enough fats and protein, and your body can actually take protein and convert it and it can also take fats and convert it into carbohydrates, right? We call this gluconeogenesis. It's a process that happens in your liver where your body creates glucose out of something that wasn't an actual glucose source like protein, for example. And so again, carbohydrates are not essential. However, carbohydrates, some people feel a lot better consuming carbohydrates, right? Or at least a certain amount of them. So what are the healthiest carbohydrate sources to consume? Well, it's not grains and sugars, right? So we wanna definitely avoid processed sugars. We wanna avoid as much of the grains as possible. Your best carbohydrate sources, I think personally, are gonna be fruits and vegetables. Fruit has lots of polyphenols and different antioxidants, especially things like berries, um, pomegranate, for example, cranberries, blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, all super rich sources of polyphenols that support your gut microbiome. Also a good source of fiber, which is an undigestible carbohydrate that supports that actually your, your gut breaks down and produces B vitamins and produces all different types of postbiotic nutrients that reduce inflammation in your body from. But also fruit also contains structured water. Okay, and this is also something that's in vegetables as well. So this is water that has that's combined with electrolytes and has a certain healthy component, kind of energetic component to it that hydrates our body. In fact, research has actually shown that consuming water that's in fruits and vegetables hydrates us twice as well as just consuming, just drinking a glass of water. I'm a huge advocate of drinking water. I think you definitely should be drinking enough water on a daily basis, but actually consuming fruits and vegetables will hydrate your cells better. And that may actually be the best benefit of consuming fruits and vegetables is how they hydrate and mineralize your cells, right? Provide the right electro, uh, electrolyte balance for your cells to get this structured water and to keep things moving effectively in and out of your cells. And so fruits and vegetables, fantastic sources of natural carbohydrates. To a lesser degree, root vegetables, um, things like sweet potatoes, right, which have less water in them, but also do have some nutrients, minerals, antioxidants, things like that. Uh, for me personally, I get my carbohydrates, most of them from fruits and vegetables. I love consuming fruit. I feel better when I'm consuming a certain amount of fruit, and I think it's the structured water. I love consuming vegetables like cucumbers, celery, um, arugula, bell peppers, uh, tomatoes, which are actually, you know, a, a fruit. Right? So those are all fantastic and I'm consuming those on a regular basis. Um, artichokes I'm a huge fan of, bok choy, 
Um, I mean, I can go on and on. Hearts of Palm, some of my favorites there. And so I consume them, I get carbohydrates from them. But again, I'm also consuming these structured water, which has great benefits for hormone health, right? For insulin sensitivity, for um, detoxifying and cleansing my system. A lot of great benefits from getting that structured water that's in the fruits and vegetables. So back to the original question, do you need carbohydrates? You don't. However, in carbohydrate rich foods like fruits and you know certain vegetables, there are a lot of other nutrients that can be really supportive for your body fiber, structured water, polyphenols, these compounds that really support your gut, support cellular health. And uh, that's why I recommend consuming a certain amount of them. I am an advocate of a lower carbohydrate diet, consuming less than, let's say, 100, uh, 100 to 150 grams of net carbohydrates on a daily basis. I find that most people do well on that. If you're consuming more than that and you, you are thriving, then that's great. I'm all for it. If you feel like you're thriving, However, I find in my experience that most people do better and they set themselves up for a better overall lifespan, right? Better quality of life, lower risk of chronic disease, uh, better energy, better brain function if they're consuming less than 150 grams of net carbohydrates daily. For many people, they're doing better with less than 100 or even less than 50 grams of net carbohydrates on a daily basis. So you can experiment, find kind of the carbohydrate threshold that works best for you uh, based on your activity level, your body size, your genetics, and um, you know just how your body's metabolizing food. And if you find that, you're gonna find a sweet spot where your energy really comes alive, your brain, you're able to think sharply and quickly, and you're able to really thrive in life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel, now is the time to do that, and hit the bell button. That way you get notified whenever I put up a new video so you never miss one of these important online trainings. Baby Shine will be very happy if you do that. We'll see you guys in a future video. Be blessed.